We're standing outside Hunt Intermediate School in Columbus, or what's left of it. The top roof has been sheared off. That is a power transformer that literally was torn off of its pole when this tornado rolled through this area Saturday evening about 5 p.m. The order of business now in this community is recovery. 73-year-old Emmett Ellis is standing in what's left of his house. The house is has got a lot of danger. You can see that. But Ellis is blind. And when Saturday's tornado hit his Columbus community. I was on the edge, but I had got in the closet. And the whole house was rocking. His neighbors lost roofs, walls. Storm tornado that blew everything away. Yep. Be kind of rough over here. The EF3 tornado roared through Saturday evening. Monday, energy workers were trying to restore power. Repairmen were patching poles, pulling debris from rooftops, trying to put neighborhoods back to like they were. It's just sad to see, you know, people have to go without lights and all that. You know, it, it's sad. It really are. But thank God the community is sticking together and trying to, you know, get it back together. There is a flood of volunteers trying to offer help in any way they can. And we disperse them. We've got chainsaw crews going out. We've got blue tarp crews going out. Uh, we got people like us handing out some food and donations. It's even from uh, food, shelter, clothing, housing uh, for the citizens that was affected by the area there. Uh, they're going to need all of those uh, resources that I mentioned to you. There is a long list of work to do in this portion of Columbus that lost one person, suffered 19 injuries, and more than 140 homes damaged. It's a blessing to be here. Emmett Ellis says he can see the blessings of what didn't happen. You find this everywhere in Columbus. Sheet metal sheared off of some roof or building. Right now, they're trying to get assessments of how much damage was done and get those reports turned over to MEMA and then to FEMA, hoping for some type of federal assistance in this storm-torn area. In Columbus, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.